Good afternoon and welcome to the Gisborne Herald News. On today's show, I'll be covering a 24-7 service milestone for youth and $1 million repairs as the Department of Conservation looks to open Moriri Hot Springs early 2024. Youth Line is now offering its phone and text message counselling helpline to young people 24 hours a day, seven days a week, following recent survey results. This is the first time in Youth Line's 53-year history that an overnight counselling service has been made available for young people to talk to. The recent 2023 State of the Generation survey showed 47% of young people in Gisborne, Bay of Plenty and Hawke's Bay said Youth Line should offer ongoing phone counselling support. The top three issues affecting people in these regions were depression, mental health issues and social media. Young people on the east coast of the North Island are far more likely to reference extreme weather events as a cause of stress. 37% versus 19% for NZ overall, that's 37% said they have been personally affected by recent significant weather events with stress and anxiety. Listed as, as issues made worse or having started since experiencing extreme weather. Youth Line's midnight to 8am helpline has been limited to crisis calls only. The nationwide service has been extended to 24-7, enabling young people aged 12 to 24 to connect with a registered counsellor at any time of the day or night, via phone or text messages. It's free and confidential. Youth Line CEO Shay Ronald says expanding the helpline to a full overnight service has been a long held dream. I'm very pleased to see it up and running. It's a real milestone for Youth Line and the young people we support. We knew the need was there, but both the need and severity of calls we're receiving has been higher than expected. We began offering this extended service in early September without any promotion. And in just two months, we've received more than 60 calls, 4,680 text messages between midnight and 8 a.m. Crucially, there have been nine interventions where other services such as police are contacted, which are potential life-saving moments. It is critical for us to make sure who are there for any young person who reaches out for support at night. Research shows night time is typically harder for rangatahi. Rep repetitive thinking about negative thoughts often happen at night and is worse for those who might already be feeling anxious or low. The 2023 State of Generation Survey shows our rangatahi are in mental health crisis, with three in four agreeing mental health is a problem for their generation. Social media remains a key issue for rangatahi, with half of our people surveyed viewing social media as a key issue facing their generation and more than 57% saying it can cause mental health and social problems. We know rangatahi can struggle to disengage from social media at night, Ms Ronald said. This can have a significant impact on the amount of sleep they get and the stress they feel, particularly during the night. Being young has never been so tough. We're grateful to ASB for supporting Youthline to expand our helpline to include this overnight service. They were on the same page as us from the start in the terms of wanting to make this a reality. The Moriri Hot Springs tourist attraction looks set to reopen this summer after almost a year-long closure. The Department of Conservation Managed Facility has been permanently closed since December 21st due to the failure of the septic system and lack of availability to the suitable, experienced and qualified contractor to fix it. Ongoing staff shortages and a further failure of main hot water pipeline post-cyclones Hale and Gabriel that followed its initial closure because of the COVID-19 mandated national directives in 2020. Following the end of the mandates, the facility was only open three days a week because of lack of staff until it closed again in December. Department of Conservation Gisborne Operations Manager Matt Tong said it was expected the Moriri Hot Springs was open in early 2024. We would love to be able to confirm an exact date, but we're not in a position to do so at this time due to uncertainties with repair construction work timeframes. To date, significant minor repairs have been completed at the site, including pool and pump infrastructure repairs, plumbing lines and drainage repairs, mining, minor building repairs, including changing room facility and track realignments due to dropouts and other damage. Our contractor will soon be commencing the major repair projects at the site, including full septic systems, hot water line repair and replacement, and facility repainting. Mr. Tong said the total cost of repairs were expected to be more than one million including Department of Conservation staff time and contractors' cost, including time and materials. Also in today's paper, Midway Surf Rescue Community Hub is open. $10 million plant lifts capacity for processing waste. Crown alleges daughter was after her inheritance. They followed its initial closures because of COVID-19 mandated national directives in 2020. 
following the end of the mandates, the facility was only open three days a week because of lack of staff until it closed again in December. Department of Conservation and Gisborne Operations Manager Matt Tong said, I was expected that Moriri Hot Springs would open in early 2024. We would love to able we would love to be able to confirm the exact date, but we're not in a position to do so at this time due to uncertainties with the repair construction work time frames. To date, significant mining repairs have been completed at the site, including pool and pump infrastructure repairs, plumbing lines and drainage repairs, mining building repairs, including changing rooms, facilities, and track realignments due to stopouts and other damage. Our contractor will soon be commencing the major repair project at the site, including full septic tank replacement, hot water line repair and replacement, and facility repainting. Matt Tong said the total cost of repairs will be expected to be more than $1 million, including director, Department of Conservation staff time and contractor costs, including time and materials. Also in today's paper, Midway Surf Rescue Community Hub is open. $10 million, plant, $10 million plant lifts capacity for processing waste, and Crown alleges daughter was only after her inheritance.